The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. John Carl West was born on a Kershaw County farm in 1922. John and his brother were raised alone by their mother due to his father's untimely death in a tragic schoolhouse fire. After high school, John attended the Citadel and married Lois Rain before enlisting in the Army. His political career started in 1954 when he was elected to the Senate based on his strong belief that there was a need for improved health care. After a stint as Lieutenant Governor, West won a hard-fought campaign to become Governor of South Carolina in 1971. We can and we shall, in the next four years, eliminate from our government any vestige of discrimination because of race, creed, sex, religion, or any other barrier to fairness for all citizens. He promptly appointed James E. Clyburn as a senior aide, the first black man to serve in the inner circle of a governor. He then established the South Carolina Human Affairs Commission under Mr. Clyburn to sort out the bitter aftermath of the Orangeburg Massacre. In three and a half years as chief executive, Governor West has made perhaps more speeches, broken more ground, and work for more legislation than most people realize. I sometimes feel like a, that uh, being governor is much like a fireman putting out a fire. You give the most attention to the flame that's the hottest, and you make a lot of decisions, and sometime after a long day, I wonder if uh, I've made a 50% batting average, and I think if I've called 50% of the shots right, maybe I've been lucky that day. South Carolina has elevated itself economically beyond all expectations. Our growth has far exceeded both the national and the southeastern averages. And in the truest sense, our state has become a land of opportunity and promise for all people. Your state of the state this year has been praised as one of the best in recent years. Are you satisfied with the effect that's had at the General Assembly? Oh, yes. One of the great things that has happened during the last three years is that we've had uh, unprecedented prosperity. For each year we've uh, exceeded all of the estimates in terms of state revenues and without any increase in taxes we've ended the year for one year with a 45 million dollar surplus, another year with a 65 million dollar surplus. When you see uh, relatively full employment and you see people uh, for the first time having an opportunity to enjoy some of the luxuries of life and to get better education for their children, uh, you, you sense a feeling of progress there that I think is more meaningful than any statistic. After West's very successful term as governor, he went back to practicing law until President Carter appointed him ambassador to Saudi Arabia in 1977. Though he had no prior diplomatic experience, many said Southern politics prepared him well for the politics of Saudi Arabia. It's really a, a great thing for us to have uh, uh, so well qualified a candidate going to such an important country. Uh, John West has, uh, has lived uh, the life of a great American, uh, having been uh, both a civic leader and a, a political leader in an important part of our country. He served uh, for several terms as state senator. He served a term as lieutenant governor, a term uh, as governor with great success. Since then, has been a leader of his uh, state, uh, uh, building up its industry and promoting its uh, trade and welfare throughout the world, including trips to the Middle East. Indeed, uh, uh, John's record is so distinguished that when the president came to uh, uh, looking down the list of people who might be ambassador to a country as important as Saudi Arabia, he was willing to put to one side John's uh, support for him in the campaign and uh, rely on his other accomplishments. <laughs> you know, it's essential to all that we have a close and very special relationship 
with Saudi Arabia especially because Saudi Arabia is the key to energy, to capital, and to peace in the Mideast. After serving four years, West left the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in 1981. Because of his experience, he became a professor of Middle Eastern Studies at the University of South Carolina and was a partner at the Hilton Head Law Office of Bethay, Jordan, and Griffin until his death from cancer in 2004. John West made a special mark on South Carolina and will be remembered as a pace setter for the South.